Now, you mentioned uh, email. So tell me a little bit more, uh, and this will leads a little bit into tools as well and uh, CRMs and everything. So tell me a bit more uh, about your strategy with email. I'd be interested about that. Yeah, uh, for sure. So I'm, I'll get to that, but just to kind of like add on to the networking group thing. Um, it's funny because I did that for years too and it didn't work for me. And I just assumed, oh, well, maybe I'm not that good at it. Maybe I'm not talking to enough people. But then I kind of noticed over time, it wouldn't work for anybody that was selling anything slightly weird, like any complex service. Uh, it wouldn't work for it. But the people that were just killing it, they were making you know, millions or whatever, uh, or some crazy, crazy amounts of money, uh, were, were in the real estate space in New York City where I was going to these networking groups. So the real estate people had this great little ecosystem and it'd be like, oh, you need title insurance? Well, I just got done with showing somebody a, a property and then the property person would give leads to the lawyer and then it was like a merry-go-round and they kept making money. Um, so I think the same dynamics work. You just have to do them digitally because you're not going to have enough quantity of opportunity in a sort of analog context. But when you expand out to the internet and use those tools, then it can go on on for a long time. Um, so that that's all we're that's off not all, but that's a big part of what we're doing yeah. is just trying to create those dynamics with you know the whole country or the whole city or the whole world or, or whatever. So, um, to, but to answer your question, uh, to get in to get into email. Um, like I, I was kind of talking about, I think that email, you know, to use Nassim Taleb parlance is anti-fragile. It's only gotten stronger. Um, it sometimes it's the bane of our existence, but at the end of the day, it's where we, we do yep. business. It's where we do, it's where we get stuff done. Um, and, and I think it's also matured as a channel, right? Where I think a lot of ways um, people will tell me, hey, we tried email, it didn't work for us. We spent hours or days or weeks A-B testing subject lines, but nobody's opening. And what's happening is um, as a mature business channel, it's become a lot like SEO. And I, I think that, uh, Jeff, I know you have a lot of experience with SEO. Um, you probably remember a time where you could rank a site through keyword stuffing or through you know, backlinks or something. And there were hacks kind of, and you could kind of like get up and running and ranking sites pretty quickly. Um, Outbound, you know, a few years ago was kind of like that. You could play this numbers game and build yep. giant lists and just see what happens. Um, now, because uh, uh, you know Google and Outlook and all these other providers have gotten smarter, um, we get less spam than we used to. We still get a lot of it, but we get less. And that means that the numbers game dynamic has changed. There still is a numbers game dynamic. You still need that scale. But if you're sending to a list of 100 people and whatever, 10, 20, 30 of them say, I don't like you, I'm going to mark you as spam, um, you're not going to be able to continue doing what you're doing for very long. So what that what that's meant is this, uh, it's, it's, it's basically increased this trend that's going on everywhere towards personalization. Um, and personalization is one of these words, buzzwords that gets thrown around a lot. I've heard it, I've heard people refer to personalization for anything, like using somebody's name as personalization. Uh, with B2B sales, the bar is much higher. You need a much higher level of personalization, um, which means strong, connections that you know for lack of a better word are almost tribal for better or worse uh and that's okay. that's where you know a lot of what we do comes in yeah